Hello once again, everyone, and welcome back to One English Tip in One Minute for speakers of Chinese and its many language varieties. Each week, like clockwork, I present to you in detail one common English mistake made by Chinese speakers, and this is video number 25. So again, I think it's a cool, smart, and really a practical thing for you to do to try to improve your English. So nice going. In these videos, I show you a slide, and on the slide there are two sentences. One is the correct way that a native speaker would native English speaker would say something, and the other is the wrong way that many Chinese speakers say it. So your task is to decide which one is correct. So do that now. Read the sentences, listen to me read the sentences, pause the video, think about your answer, and I will discuss the answer in the slide that follows this slide. Which is correct, when he is coming here, or when is he coming here? So again, pause the video. The correct answer is, when is he coming here? So for this, you just have to know the word order for questions with the verb to be, and this is very important as this is a very common sentence structure. So here it is, the question word, then the verb to be, then the subject, then the verb plus ing. When is he coming here? Why are you crying? When are they leaving? And so on. So if you got it wrong or you took a wild guess and don't know why you got it right, it's really not a big deal. It just simply means you have to start studying this and you're like many other people out there. So I've given you three sentences that you can study from. You should memorize the sentences in their entirety you should review them, so really drill them into your brain, and you should put into practice what you've learned through speaking or writing or both, and just keep repeating that, and eventually you will get it. And it's also a very good idea to go outside of these videos and use the many, many resources out there to help you. Okay, just a few things before we finish. First, if you liked the video, I hope you'll click on the thumbs up below. Second, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I think it's a good idea as these videos come out like clockwork every week. So hopefully you will do that. Third, I have an online course called 50 Common English Mistakes. And it costs 20 euros, but if you follow the link in the description box below, it costs 10 euros. So I hope you'll think about that. Next, I am building up my website. So I hope you will pay that a visit. And also I have a Twitter feed. So my Twitter handle is at Epic English Tips. So please follow me there. And finally, if there's anything that you want me to work on, if there's any English mistakes that you need help with, please write it in the comments below and I will try my best to address it. Thank you for watching and see you next week.